Hey YouTube friends, this is Metagross Freak. Welcome back to the Dojo of Awesome. And as you can see, it's time for another duel. Today we have set up the Synchro deck and, as last time, the Rock deck. And Shadow apparently wants to play too. So, just like last time, we're starting it off with 8,000 life points each. Cats out of the way, and let's get this started. We'll cut the decks to decide who goes first. Rock deck has C, Call of the Haunted. Synchro deck has F, Fiery Fervor. So, Rock deck can go first. <clears throat> Rock deck draws its six cards, as you can see, and they begin their game. Oh. They begin their game by placing a card face down and by summoning Kwaku Mero Sandman in face up attack position. Now the rock deck ends its turn by a Kwaku Mero Sandman's effect to keep it on the field you must reveal a rock type. Revealing Legendary Jiu-Jitsu Master. Genix, Genix deck turn. Six cards. Alright. So, we'll start it off. <clears throat> we'll start it off. Wow, lots of cards. Okay. Okay. So then, started off by playing, okay, hold on, uh, by discarding DD Sprite to special summon Quick Draw Synchron, throw down a face down, uh, let's see, and now play Marauding Captain, which lets me special summon Gale the Whirlwind in attack position. Now, quick draw Synchron and Marauding Captain. Sync to summon level 8. Do I want to do that? Uh, yeah, I guess. Um, level 8 Junk Destroyer. By Junk Destroyer's effect, I can just... Oh, dang it. Dang it all. By just summon Junk Destroyer and uh, Gale. By Junk Destroyer's effect, when he's summoned, he can destroy cards on, my, on the rock side of the field equal to the number of non-tuner monsters used. Which, since I use Quick Draw Synchron, I have one non-tuner monster, so I can destroy one card. Destroy face down magic cylinder. Now, Gale the Whirlwind cuts Quakamir Sandman's attack in half, and Junk Destroyer attacks. So, since his attack is cut in half, he's dropped down to 950. 2,600 point Junk Destroyer obviously would do a lot of damage. 1,650 to be exact. And so far with 6,000 points for the rock deck, it's not looking good, folks. Turn is ended. Rock deck draws. All right. The rock deck will start it off by playing Pot of Duality. Oh, he's dead, sorry. You can't, the rock deck can't special summon this turn, but in exchange, you can reveal the top three cards in the deck, add one of them to the hand, and the rest gets shuffled in. Let's see, and any good rock deck, or actually any good deck, will know to add Fossil Dyna Patches of Follow. The other two cards get shuffled into the deck. Pot of Duality goes to the graveyard, and now it's time to finish the turn. 
by playing Gravekeeper Servant. With this card, if my opponent, if the opponent wants to attack, they have to send the top card of the deck to the graveyard first before attacking. And <clears throat> simply play a card face down and end the turn. It's the Synchro deck's turn. They draw and they'll play Synchron Explorer, which allows the special summon of Quick Draw Synchron. And because there's a face up, and uh, never mind, never mind, never mind. Well, guard. Now, tune Quick Draw Synchron with Synchron Explorer to summon level 7. It's getting good. Level 7. Junk Berserker. Now, Junk Berserker is an interesting card. With Junk Berserker, uh, if it attacks a defense position monster, it's automatically destroyed at the beginning of the damage step, not counting damage calculation. So, in order to attack Gravekeeper Servant, I mean, with Gravekeeper Servant, if it's in the top card, ah, uh, a Junk Servant, from the deck to the graveyard, to attack, with Junk Berserker, wait, no, sorry, to attack with uh, Junk Destroyer, because of the effect of Legendary Jiu-Jitsu Master, it's sent to the top of the deck, or in this case, back to the Synchro deck. Legendary Jiu-Jitsu Master is destroyed, and Junk Berserker attacks it's another card from the top. Ooh, Monster Aborn. Not fun. Attacking directly, doing 2,700 damage. Gale the Whirlwind also attacks for 13 additional. So in total, that's 4,000 damage. As you can see, the Synchro deck has 8,000, and the Rock deck has 2,350. It's not looking good, folks. End the turn. And the rock deck draws. <clears throat> and it's time for some fun and games. If the... Uh, hmm. Two of those. Okay. If the, uh, let's see, the rock deck will play a card face down. A shadow. And play Monster Born to revive the, uh, to revive the rock decks. Quick draw, yeah, quick draw synchron in defense mode. Oh, sorry, face up defense mode. Now, the rock deck ends its turn, because that's all I can do. All I can do. Shadow's amazed. Draw for the synchro deck. Ooh, -hoo -hoo. okay. Special summon junk forward, actually, sorry, normal summon junk forward. And synchro, su oh, no, no, not synchro summon, Xe summon. Grenosaurus. <clears throat> it's definitely not going well, folks. Now then, with Synchro Boost, I change Grenosaurus from a rank 3 to a level 1 and give it an extra 500 attack. Now I simply have to lose a card. Oh, Jinzo. Nice. To attack, Grenosaurus attacks Quick Draw Synchron. No damage is done until Grenosaurus uses one of its overlay units to do a thousand damage directly to the rock deck. Junk Berserker attacks. Another card is discarded. Ooh, Mystical Space Typhoon. And boom. Fossil Dyna is automatically destroyed at the beginning of the damage step without damage calculation. 
but because Fossil Dyna Patches of Follow is flipped face up, all special summoned monsters on the field are automatically destroyed. So even though I've lost all my monsters, so has my opponent. It's pretty much a clean field now. The rock deck takes its turn, hopefully not its last. All right, three cards in hand. <clears throat> All right. Kuwakamira Prototype in attack mode. Card face down. And attack directly. Opponent uses Threatening Roar, disabling my ability to attack for the turn. My opponent, oh, forgot to take off the 1,000 there. Oops, from the previous turn. And it's my opponent's turn. They draw with one card and they play a card face down. Not looking good. Aha, useless card. Darn it. All right. I can use Call of the Haunted da -da -da -da, to revive my Kwakumira Sandman. So I can now Xe summon Gem Knight Pearl, a rock, one of the few, actually the only rock monster I have in my, uh, the only monster I have in my extra deck, which is a rock, 2,600 attack. Here's a little uh, detail, I hope you can see that. It looks pretty dang cool. Should have think so too. Unfortunately, he has no effect, but that's okay. Attack, to attack the monster. Junk Defender, even if Junk Defender uses its effect, it still does nothing. Uh, there's no damage done, nor any attack or survival or whatever. So, Gem Knight Pearl attacks, that card's uh, Junk Defender's destroyed, and it's looking good. Things are turning around. Oh. Opponent leaves a card face down, and ends the turn. Let's see. Rock deck plays... Hold on. Uh, oh, that's right. Okay. Rock deck plays. Magical Mallet. Shuffling. Go, 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 Golem. Back into the deck. To draw a card. Excellent. Face down. And Gem Knight Pearl. Attack. And Stealth Bird. When Stealth Bird is flip summoned, the Rock Deck would take a thousand damage. Luckily, it was only flipped face up because of the attack. Stealth Bird is destroyed, and the Rock Deck somehow survives. Synchro Deck draws. They can't do anything except for set a monster and end their turn. Rock Deck draws. Oh, ironic, <clears throat> and plays a Go 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 Golem. Go, 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 Golem attacks Boost Warrior. It is dead. Gem Knight Pearl attacks directly. 2,600 damage to the Synchro deck. For those of you watching at home, it is 5,400 for the Synchro deck, 1,350 for the Rock deck. Synchro deck draws. Oh, that's not going to help. But, I don't even know why I'm showing you this card. But here, I'm showing you the card. Face down. Draw. And it looks like the rock deck might be the vic might be the, turner the surprise victor here. Go, 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 golem attack. Quillbolt Hedgehog is destroyed. Gem Knight Pearl with all his pearliness attacks. Again, 2,000 is done. Actually, 2,600 is done. So, Synchro Deck left with 2,800. This can all be done, and this can all be this can all go away though in one turn. So stay tuned. 
Synchro deck draws and oh, it's a jungle. I don't. Why am I showing you this? I don't. I don't. I, ignore that. Ignore that. I, mean, I shouldn't show you these. Face down card. Rock deck draws. Face down. Go go go. Golem attack. Gemini pearl attack directly. Another two thousand six hundred is done, or dealt actually. With only two hundred, with only two hundred life points left, it is how do I do that? Two hundred life points left is not looking good. Synchro deck draws, probably its final card, and it uses the effect of junk forward to special summon it and face up defense, mainly because I just don't want a normal summon this turn. Rock deck draws and gives. And uh, let's say face down card and gives a mercy turn. The one mercy turn the rock deck will give at the game. Just because here at Meta Grocery, we do mercy turns. Draw a card, throw down a face down, rock deck draws. Opponent activates Spellbinding Circle on Gemini Pearl. They cannot attack or change battle positions. See now. Use actually activate the ability of Dummy Golem. Swap Junk Forward and Dummy Golem out. Sacrifice Junk Forward for a Hierko Sphinx. Why did I do that? Because once Dummy Golem's ability activates, it is pretty much useless. Go 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 Golem attacks. Dummy Golem is dead. And just because we like to rub it in at Metagross Freak by removing from play. Oh, wait, I thought there were three. Oh, that's right, no. Uh, attack with Hierko Sphinx. Game, if I did, I could have removed all three rock monsters from the graveyard to summon Mega Rock Dragon with 2100 attack points. I forgot, though, that I got Dummy Golem. So, uh, sorry, from no, sorry, not uh, Samian from the graveyard. So, I could have had two thousand eight hundred, but Rock Deck won. Just so you don't think that it, we're, we're playing favorites, I'll show the next three top three cards on the deck. So we had a Dummy Golem and Absorption Jar and a Pot of Benevolence. And here on the Synchro deck, we had. A shield wing, a remote revenge, and a tuning. So, even if the uh, even if the synchro deck had managed to get all the way down to shield wing, or one of the next three cards, it still was not looking good. It looks like the rock deck obviously had the turnaround. So, thanks for watching. And if you want to see more cool videos like that, leave me a message. Thanks for watching again. Bye.